Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Couch. My name is Candice and my nickname is Candy. That's how I came up with that lovable name. It's lovable because I'm lovable and you're lovable too. And Valentine's Day is coming up in a couple of days. So that's the day of love. And so you know I got a story that has to do with love or heart or something along that matter. I got my hoop hoop out here. Hootie hoo. Yep. And... You know, we want to get right down to it. Now, make sure you're doing your morning checklist items, though. Don't forget the important stuff like eating a good, well-balanced breakfast. Okay, don't forget that. It is Sunday. It's also Super Bowl Sunday. Man, I should have read a book about football. Maybe I'll do that later on today. Wow, we got a lot going on today. Anyway, the title of today's book is The Day It Rained Hearts by Felicia Bond. And it says from the illustrator of If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. Nice. One day it rains hearts and Cornelia Augusta catches them. Each heart is special in its own way. And Cornelia Augusta knows exactly who to send them to. All right. Well, let's see. Let's see who we send these hearts to. Speaking of pretty hearts, is about a thousand on this page? All right, not quite a thousand, but I don't have time to count them. You're reading the story. The day it rained hearts. All right, Miss Felicia Bond. Okay. One day it started raining hearts. I wish it would rain hearts. I want to see that happen for real. We got to make that happen. We may have to orchestrate it, but I don't think it's going to naturally happen or magically happen. And Cornelia Augusta caught one. She caught another. I'm sure she spent a lot of time catching those hearts. Kind of like when we catch snowflakes on our tongues or when we try to catch raindrops in a bucket. And another. It wasn't very hard, so she caught some more. Oh, she catching a lot of them. What? Y'all see that? She's catching a lot of hearts. It must be getting closer to Valentine's Day, she thought. And she set to work making Valentine's. The hearts she caught would make perfect cards. Oh, okay. I guess the hearts weren't wet, so they weren't soggy. Cornelia Augusta saw that all of her hearts were different. She looked at each one. From the front and the back and the side and decided which ones would be just right for each of her friends because hearts do have different shapes they're the same but different at the same time see she found seven that were more or less alike and strung them together with a needle and thread I know just the right person for this one, she thought. Then Cornelia Augusta took an especially handsome heart to pay and pasted it on a piece of paper. Because yes, boys and girls, you can have fun doing really awesome car, uh, crafts for uh, Valentine's Day. In the center of the heart, she glued a cotton ball, one that was very white and very soft. And she knew instantly who this card would be for. Cornelia, Cornelia Augusta had eight hearts left. On the largest one, she drew circles and then very carefully cut them out. She being creative with these hearts, boys and girls. And that's the fun part of doing crafts. You can be very creative. It's very arty, artsy. <laughs> the other hearts were so small she arranged all of them on one piece of paper. Around the hearts, she painted patterns of many colors. Then she folded her design in half. There was no doubt in her mind who would receive these. So she already knows who they're going to be for. I think that's a really kind gesture and loving gesture that she's going to give these to someone she loves. Cornelia Augusta put a stamp on each of her valentines and mailed them. And not only did she make them, but she used stamps to mail them in the U.S. mail. So the 
the postal workers or the mailman, the mail carrier, they're going to come and get it and deliver it to their house. It never rained hearts again. Not where Cornelia Augusta lived anyway. Oh, so I'm so glad she took advantage of those hearts while they were falling from the sky. Because it says that it never rained again after that. But it didn't matter. Because the next year, what happened the next year? wonder what happened the next year. The next year, what happened? I like your bunny. And the next, and all the years after that, Cornelia Augusta, she did something. Cornelia Augusta, what a name. Found other ways to make Valentine's. So there's more than one way to make Valentine's. And boys and girls, because Valentine's Day is coming up in a couple of days. Hold on, because I want to show you guys some more hearts at the end of the book. That's the end of the story. But look at all those awesome hearts. And that's the end. All right. All right, boys and girls. That is it. Yes, indeed. I hope you enjoyed that story. Maybe it might rain hearts somewhere near you. Well, you know in your dreams, like if this were a bedtime story at, at nighttime, I would be telling you that you certainly could dream. But you know what? In the daytime, you could draw a picture of it raining hearts. You can sit back and actually close your eyes. Not necessarily, well, during nap time. If you take a nap, you can still dream about it raining hearts, you catching the hearts and giving them to people that you love. Or you can draw a picture. Or you can just use your imagination. How fun. That's some fun daytime activity for you. Well, boys and girls, let me let you get to the fun and excitement of your day. And I will see you next time here on Candy's Cozy Couch. Bye-bye.